Number 60, a centripetal acceleration addict rides in uniform circular motion with radius 3 meters. At one instant, his acceleration is vector A equals to 6 meters per square second in the I direction, minus 4 meters per square second in the J direction. At that instant, what are the values of V dot product with A and R cross product with A? Okay, so let's draw a generic motion over here. Okay, so this is the center of the movement. So let's suppose that the, the, the particle or the person is at this position here. The acceleration would point to the center. It always points to the center if it is the center of the acceleration. If it's rotation, rotating counterclockwise, its speed would point in this direction or else it would point to this direction. And vector R is the vector that connects the center of the motion to the particle. So R is something like this. Okay, so if, if it's in this at this position here, let's suppose now it is at this position, the speed would be this way, the acceleration would be this way, and R would be that way. Okay, so you can continue, you can imagine that this is always true. Okay, so for letter A, we want the dot product between V and A. So let's remember that one of the products of dot product is that it can be calculated using the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector times the cosine of the angle between them, right? And as you can see here, this angle is always 90 degrees and the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. So this dot product is zero. So the answer of letter A is zero. For letter B, we want the cross product. And one of the properties of the cross product is that the absolute value of a cross product is equal to the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector times the sine of the angle between them. And as you can see here, the angle is 180 degrees. So this angle is 180 degrees and the sine of 180 degrees is zero as well. So the cross product between R and A is equal to zero. That's the answer of letter B.